It's important that we all do what we're passionate about, but right now we also need to align our actions mm -hmm. to be Certainly. powerful together. So sometimes we might have to give up, you know, oh, this is so important to align with others and actually, you know, do something powerful together. And this can be very simple, like the Cash Friday, if you like to only use mm -hmm. cash. It's these simple things, if we do it in the masses, mm -hmm. that actually do have an effect. It's a simple thing of maybe just promoting our freedom and ice because we're putting, you know, the money into creating our own servers with lots of uh, material to be backing up all the 40 countries with um, their own criminal charges. We are you know, focusing a lot on the IT, on securing information because and also supporting local communities, local co communities in all the countries to be resilient if there comes a uh, black winter or the, where they turn off, you probably heard of this, where they turn off the internet and then they start the Great Reset. So we're doing you know, massive amounts of good work. So uh, just, just that, to support or be engaged, we need lots of help with lots mm -hmm. of things. <laughs> like organizing events or just administration, answering all the members, um, you know, we need people in uh, design, PR media, so anything that can also support uh, joining together for a common cause. And we're just in the face of really um, coming back to our vision, coming, like realigning with what are we about and doing this like in a grassroots way, we're really engaging uh, everyone that is really active within the World Freedom Alliance. Uh, and amazing people, like I just talked with Iana Rachel from uh, Israel, I don't know if you know her, she's a great activist in Israel. They have a really bad situation there. We, use, we are so lucky in Sweden compared to Israel, compared to Germany. <laughs> compared to so many other countries but we still we it also means in Sweden that we actually can we still have time we are not in complete lockdown now during the summer we do have time so thank you for, for Glenn who mm -hmm. is doing an amazing job mm -hmm. uh, going around the country speaking and we're in Sweden also starting up a Corona Commission putting together really concrete information in medical science, in law, and in uh, also about the media because they are a part of this whole scam. And really making it very simple, very clear, very, very scientific, very fact based, and with lots of people standing together. Because what, what we need to do is to reach those people that are just on the verge, like, like you talked about also months, like, is, is this really right? It, you know, my friend, they had a, a reaction from the shot and it doesn't seem really right, you know. This is happening now. I was just, I'm just speaking to everyone as I go along also. Like on the, in the cafe, you know, I asked, and, she, and this person in the cafe, like, I'm never going to take the shot. My friend had a really bad reaction. So, a lot of people are seeing that. Soon we're going to have, everyone is going to have someone who died or someone that had a reaction from the shot. And then we want to be there and hold their hand. Guess what? There is another way. Guess what? There are cures. Guess what? We are a community here. You're not alone. Guess what? We can actually offer you something better. Because in the end, we, we are kind of, primitive humans, <laughs> and of course we're spiritual amazing beings as well, but we have a strong need for security, for, to have our needs met, and a lot of people are just clinging to that, the old, kind of old system, the mainstream media, because they think it's safe, they think they're safe there. It's very basic. Okay, I can trust my TV, what they say there, I have my food on the table. Mm -hmm. And if I just follow along, everything will be just fine. Like there's so many people. But if we can show them that road leads to 
the Great Reset, and mm -hmm. you don't want to be there. You don't want your, you want your mm -hmm. kids to be there. Mm -hmm. It is dangerous. We will not have our freedoms anymore. We will not have our own bodily integrity anymore. And this is how they're warming, up, warming us up slowly now to accept the Great Reset. But I think we're doing a great job. We need to remember that. We're doing a great job. They are not succeeding. We're actually putting sticks in the wheel. We're actually stopping this from happening because so many people are awake. If you look at London, millions out on the street. Not only once, like over and over again. If you see in Sweden, we have, I think the strength in Sweden, we have great um, alternative media. So we have a lot of aware people. What we are facing though is the Jantelagen. It's the, uh, that a lot of people know what is going on, but they're too afraid to speak out because of their job, because of their neighbors, what would people say, like all of those things. So that's why what Glenn is doing, what I'm doing, what other people are doing to speak out is one of the most important things we can do in Sweden because that inspires others to speak out. Because what we saw with the manifestations mm -hmm. that ha have been going on is that the debate came up. And I saw also when I was, I delivered letters, not notices, uh, letters of notice to all the mainstream media in Sweden. So they're all notified that what they're doing is criminal. If they continue, they will be held accountable. Mm -hmm. And after that, at least there was a lot of the main, a, a lot of the alternative media that caught that up, were mm -hmm. sowing seeds, and they're investigating. You know that 80 percent of the media is owned by Vandenberg mm -hmm. in Sweden, and now they're buying even more. So <laughs> there is no free debate. There is no democracy. I've been studying democracy all my life. I've been working with it for as a professional with international organizations and to have a democ democracy you need freedom of speech mm -hmm. do we have freedom of speech do we have a mm -hmm. debate mm -hmm. no just look at me i'm trying to speak out what what do you face you fe face the public kind of flogging of today that all of the mainstream media have been flogging me calling me a QAnon terrorist a, you know, this and that, a right-wing extremist, even from inside, you know, mm. I'm a Illuminati or not, I'm this. It's just crazy, all mm. of it. But that's, and do you think others dare to speak out when they see this public flogging of someone just trying to stand up for a kind of basic human rights? Like, mm. yeah, maybe we should have the right to assembly, mm. freedom of speech, bodily integrity, it's like very simple things that are kind of fundamental for democracy. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> and if, of course, we've had this kind of public flogging mentality. If you look at my father, Mikael Nordfors, I've seen this for a long time. That's why you know, he's been standing up for medical freedom. And he's been completely lied about and you know, harassed. For many, many years, it's just that he, he just can't lie. He mm. can't mm. sacrifice his patients. <laughs> I'm very proud yeah. of my father. So, um, yeah, when you kind of see that there is no society, there's nothing we can hold on to there, I'm sorry to say. Mm. There is no medical science. There is no good politicians that want us well. There is no media that speaks the truth. Well. I, I say, let's just build the new, let's build what we want to do. Mm. And that's why I've been engaging in the New Earth Project for many, many years. For me, that is like the holistic way of, um, at least an example, it's not a final, there's no final truth, there's no final, this is the way to do it. It's just an offering, it's a blueprint, it's, this is one way you can do it. But then every single person needs to implement it mm -hmm. in their own way. And there's, you know, a lot of people waiting for Ryan Fulmish or Dolores or mm -hmm. Robert Kennedy. Or, like, they're 
they can't do it on their own no. either. Mm -hmm. There is no one coming on a white horse. I think that's an indoctrination for us as well. Mm -hmm. But we have the hero coming to save us. Uh -uh. We are the heroes. You, 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 you. Every single one. It's not me. It's not anyone. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I can be a leader just reflecting to you what you need to be a mm -hmm. leader. Mm -hmm. Happy to do that for you, but mm -hmm. it's every single person saying no. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to take a PCR test. I'm not going to wear a mask. I'm not going to, uh, you know, expose my kids to any poison. It's every single person doing that and also taking care of their own lives, saying that I'm I'm resilient. I have my own economy. I have my own food production, or whatever. I have my own community where we take care of each other. Mm -hmm. It's so simple things. It doesn't have to be complicated. Mm -hmm. But we need to do it. We need to act. Mm -hmm.